Hello everyone! Today, in our second video in the series on Microsoft Teams, we're going to be covering breakout channels. So Microsoft Teams does not support breakout rooms like other video conferencing platforms do. However, there's a fairly simple roundabout way of creating them all by yourself. So after the step-by-step -step guide, you'll be able to one, create your own breakout channels, two, upload files to those channels so that students can work collaboratively, three, use those breakout channels during class, and then four, review the files that your students have worked on. So let's get into it. So because Microsoft Teams doesn't support breakout rooms, we'll just create them through different channels underneath our class team. So here I am on my class page, and you can see that I already have some different channels already listed. But I'm going to create a couple of more for my breakout groups to use in the next class. So to add some more channels, I can just go up to the three dots on the side and click Add Channel. So I can give it a name, and instead of just using breakout group one or group A, I'm going to name it a little bit something more exciting so that it will help my students remember which group they're a part of. So let's go with a superhero theme and name this one Batman. Okay, and I'm also going to change the privacy to private. So this way, it's only accessible to that specific group of students. So not every student will have access to this channel, only the ones that I want. So I know that the students are sticking to their original groups. Okay, so once it's added, I will just need to add some students. So let's add a student here. Okay, perfect. And then just click next. Okay, so that's how you add one. And I'm just going to go ahead and add three more. Okay, great. So now that all of my channels are added, I can easily edit this later on. So if I go to the three dots on the side, I can manage this channel and easily add other members or remove members that are here. Then this way, if you ever need to rearrange groups, you can do so very easily. So once your channels are completed, we can move on to uploading files to each one of those channels. While students are in their breakout groups, you may want them to be jotting down ideas or answering questions that you've prompted them with. So within Teams, students are able to discuss and work collaboratively on one document. So to make a document for them to use, we can just go into our channel. So I'm going to go to my Batman breakout group channel. And at the top, you can click on the files pivot. And here you'll see that I don't have any documents uploaded yet, but to do so, we have a couple of different options. So you can create one new right here, or you can upload one. So I'm going to upload a compare and contrasting document that I have for my students to work on later when we discuss the similarities and differences of different legends. So I'm going to upload it to each one of my channels. So now that this is uploaded, when students are in their call, they can all open this and work collaboratively together. Another thing that you can do is have students create their own document and upload it to the breakout channel when they're complete. So in this way, they have a little bit more freedom and creation in the document that they're working on. Great. So it's as simple as that to upload files for your students to use during the breakout groups to work together. Now that everything is prepared, we can begin using these channels. So to start, we're going to go over to the general channel and begin a meeting right away. Okay, great. Hi, everyone. I'm going to close my camera so it's not distracting. And then we can click meet now. Before we have our students join us in the general channel, I'm going to open up video calls in our different breakout groups. So to do that, I can just go back and click on Teams and go into the channel that I'm looking for and do the same thing. Just click Meet Now. So I'm going to do this for all my different channels, but you'll notice that I have four different breakout channels here. However, Microsoft Teams only supports having four video calls open at once. So because I also have my general call open, I need to 
either assign a different team leader to that last group, or I'm going to have to end a different call earlier before I can join in on that last one. Okay, so now that all of the meetings have begun, you can see that it is super easy to bounce in between the classes. So let's go back to the general class and have all of our students join us. Okay, so now that they're here, we can begin a full classroom discussion and then we can separate into our breakout channels. So the first couple of times, you might need to help direct them where you need to go. So you can do this by sharing your screen down here and I'll show my students, okay, you go over to Teams and click on the Join button so that they can join the call that's already available. So once the students are in, they can begin their discussion and start working on their files. Me, as a teacher, I can bounce in between all of the different breakout groups by hitting the Resume button. Please note that you guys should not hit the Hang Up button because that will completely end the call. Just hit resume to bounce in between the different classes. Now that the students are in their groups, they can begin their discussion and start working collaboratively on the file that I have uploaded. So let's check that out over on the student side. Now, as a student, I'm joined into the breakout channel and want to begin working collaboratively with my other classmates. So to do this during my call, I can just go back and click on Teams and the group that I'm a part of. And then up in the Files pivot at the top, I see the Compare and Contrasting worksheet that my teacher has added. I can begin typing any ideas that I have or what my classmates are discussing as well. This updates in real time so that as we're discussing, I can also see what other people are writing. When we're done, I can just hit Save and my teacher can look at it later. Once the breakout session has been completed, you can invite everybody to join you back in on that general channel. So here everyone will be together and you can review the files that each group has worked on. To do this, we can just go back into Teams and click on the breakout channel that you want to start with. Then up in the files pivot, you can just open up what the students have worked on. And then you can use this to help aid your discussion and compare and contrast what each group has come up with. And that is the full tutorial guide on breakout channels in Microsoft Teams. If you have any other questions about Microsoft Teams, don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. Thank you again so much for watching. If you liked it and it helped you out, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way, when another one of our videos comes out, you can learn something new again.